Hi, it's your boy Noah. <laughs> your boy. Your boy. And your boy Skinny Fien. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Today is Monday, the 14th of January, and I'm getting my bandages off, which means I, it's like a reveal video, and that'll be fun. I'm kind of, yeah. I'm kind of nervous because over the past day, like, my left side has started hurting more than it was hurting, and it feels like really bruisy. But that's because I tried, like, I tried putting my hand behind my head, and that was fine, but then I leaned backwards, and it wasn't fine. So, we'll see what's going on. I've tried to not stretch the scars. Um, yeah, let's hope it's yeah. not, let's hope it's not bad. We're on our way now, and my chest keeps twitching, and it's very uncomfortable. Twitch, twitch, <laughs> twitch, 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 twitch. <laughs> <laughs> this can get a little bit of irritated, you know, with the use of what's good to watch, like a cotton vest or something okay. underneath. You know, it just starts to irritate your skin a little bit. I've got something to soak it off, so we'll just do it nice and gently. Yeah, I was wondering right. about that. Okay. <laughs> a bit of it had a spot here, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna like see the spot. But it's so much adhesive on it. And then it's like having a slow wax otherwise, isn't it? So just let me know how it feels, okay? Yeah. It's like slowly but surely it would be okay, so just nice and It's fine. Is it alright? Yeah. I'm just yeah. thinking terrible thoughts. Don't think terrible thoughts. You always think the worst. Yeah, thing. like you can't see it. My nipples fall off. Or... <laughs> just end up your life like this. You okay like that, yeah? Yeah. No, it doesn't hurt anymore. It's just a bit twitchy. Usually the sides are a bit sensitive here. That's wonderful. Yeah. I mean, some patients it's hard hanging off. You know, after the week it's mm. red. It just depends on your skin. Yeah. And it drains both bits, so it's probably going to be some sort of. <laughs> Wait, did it drain air bleed a bit more on this side today? Uh, no, it bled more on that side, but when they took the drains out, it bled more on that side. How were they coming out? It was horrible. Was it? Yeah, it was like. Painful? Or yeah. just a bit strange? Um, no, it hurt. Like a lot. You usually you get one side that hurts more than the others as well. Yeah, but they hurt more, but like. She's like, oh, that came out easier, and I'm like, did it? But that one hurts, yeah. Doing really well. Yep, you've got little dressings on the on the um, the glasses. I thought my nipple was moving on its own, but it's just you moving the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's going up and down. <laughs> you've got a little sponge tie. Ugh, Grim, I got spots. <laughs> They'll come. They will. Wow. So just where your skin's been a bit sweating under the dressing, that looks fine. It's very tight. Tummy throbbing. Look at that, that's right. Okay. Fantastic. Look Did you that. take your arnica? Were you taking your arnica? I took my arnica, but I've got spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they will go. Just going to pop around this side. Yeah, that's fine. It's not bad. Look at that. <laughs> Don't make that face. You can see my heart beating. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good sign. There we go. There we go. That's all your sticky stuff off. Feel a bit better now. Okay. All right. Yeah. Does it look good from there? <laughs> yeah. You can talk, you know. Yeah. No, I know. Everybody's been really quiet. It looks really good. That's so good. These obviously have to still have a little bit of swelling, um, so it's going to settle down even more. Uh, and you've got that kind of yellowy bruising where it's at the end of the bruising now, haven't you? So still keep taking your arnica for a few more days. Yeah, um, it will help. So with the glass, so you've got um, obviously you've got this sponge tie holding the dressing in place. So I'm just going to remove these four little sutures in the corner and then the graft is underneath with a little dressing over the top, okay? All the um, sutures here and all around the graft, they're all dissolvable, so we didn't take any of them out. It's just the ones in the dressing that I'm gonna take out, all right? Right, I had two inverted nipples. Yes. 
I like kind of, I just managed to like, I was sleeping on my side of it as well because the sheets didn't sleep on the side. Yeah. But and so that was that comfortable? Yeah, I, I could sleep really well, which is weird. Well, usually that's the worst thing is the sleeping upright, you know, because you're not in the usual position, so that's cool. <laughs> okay, so I say. Just... You got a little pointy thing. Don't worry. <laughs> He's making faces as if something's happened, but it hasn't. It's never good, is it? <laughs> Do you want to stop now and then you can do like close ups? Yeah. It doesn't hurt, I can just feel it's going down. Because they've been on the week, they just get a little bit stuck now. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of water on there as well. Do they look like they're in a good place? Oh god, yeah. Oh, they'll look like pepperonis. That's a good way to describe them, actually, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so what will happen is you'll get a scab that sort of forms on the top, okay? okay. Um, and then bit by bit, they'll start to separate and you'll have sort of healthy pink tissue underneath, okay? Yeah. 
and it takes it takes e3 so i'll give you loads of dresses and things so we want you to dress them every day until that separates sorry try not to get you too wet I look cute though. <laughs> oh, I can feel that one. That was great. Bleah. Feels incredible. Yeah, this one. Wow. So that looks great. It's sticking out the right way, Beach. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My nipples are not hiding anymore. <laughs> Perfectly placed. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. You're so uh, wow. I'm just going to take out these little stitches that have been holding the dressing in, okay? I won't look at that. No, yeah, don't have a look. <laughs> look at you. The other ones are all dissolved, okay? You did really well there. Thanks. Ooh. Do you feel that, that one? That, oh. that was a feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> right, do you want to have a little look before I redress it in the big mirror? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that liquid you put's gone in my belly button. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> great. It all pulled in there, sorry. <laughs> Take a few little shower now before you go home. It's fine. There we go. Lovely. All right. And um, I'll just open that mirror so you can have a little look, Clara. And I'll lower you down. Actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feel right? Yeah. Yeah. The left side. A little bit soft. And... Um, just move all this stuff away. Let me just open it up. There we go. That looks so good. Holy shoes. Mm, clean them really well. Really well. Look at you. The scars look great as well. Yeah. It looks really, really good. Yeah, but considering it's only one week. So it's, a, it's, it's fantastic. Today, it? it looks really good. It's up for. How'd you feel? I hope you're right. Good. But yeah. I see faces in people's stuff. You are? <laughs> <laughs> looks like a little ooh, face. <laughs> Sick. Nice. Can I take a whole selfie first? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, that video was three days ago, so I'm now 10 days post-op. Just wanted to give you guys a little update on my chest. Pretty much what I do every day is I have plasters on my nipples, they're called like me paws, and then I have um, tape on my incisions. Um, I replace the tape every three days, so this is the third day, so I thought I'd film. And I replace the plasters on my nipples every day. I'm allowed to have a shower, and obviously ugh, I'm not like directly putting powered shower onto my like incisions on my nipples, but I just let it drip down my body. I just want to say that I'm literally so happy with my chest. It's so much better than I thought it would be and I thought it would be great because I know Miles Berry is incredible. By the way, none of this is like sponsored. He's not paying me to like talk nice about him. I'm not being paid, but he's literally just like... I don't want to sound up myself because obviously like it's a part of my body, but this is... I didn't do this. Miles Berry did this, but like I think this is like the best results I've seen. Like some of the best results I've seen. I am literally so lucky to be able to go with him and I just look down and I'm like, oh, this guy. There's genuinely nothing that I would change about my chest. Like, obviously it's bruised still, and it's it's 
It's a bit manky because it's healing, but it's like perfect. The nipple placement is perfect. My nipples are so round and I've seen like so many results of people having like slightly like oval nipples or nipples being in the wrong place. I've seen someone with like nipples up here and nipples down here and I don't mean to like shit talk people, but I'm just saying like this is like amazing. My incisions are really thin, which is classic Miles Berry. He's really good at making the incisions really thin. Um, a lot of other surgeons have like thicker incisions. They all have different methods, but like it's it's good. Oh yeah, update on the inverted nipples. My nipples aren't inverted anymore. They're like sticky out here, which is good. It's like symmetrical, which is what? Like the incisions are just like a perfect shape, but like me, I'm just very happy with that. I've still got like visible stitches on my incisions and in my nipples. Um. I think the ones in my incisions are dissolvable. The ones in my nipples will fall out, apparently. So that's gonna be interesting. I've still got a bit of swelling here, obviously, because I just had it like 10 days ago. And I've still got like yellow bruising like around here, but the yellow bruising means like it's nearly finished. Like it's done bruising, it's the end stages. I'm not feeling like stinging pains. It just kind of, it just feels bruised a lot. And some of it is quite numb. Um, it's very tight. So when I move about, I feel it like stretching a bit, but I'm trying to not move that much because I don't want to stretch the incisions. So for like feeling, I can feel here, feel all this, feel all this. Um, I can feel this. I can't feel here. Like I can't feel that being touched, which is the strangest thing. Like under my nipples, I just can't feel it. I can kind of feel the nipples. I'm just sat here touching my nipples. I can feel all this back here. Um, my nerves started going like crazy like a few days in, so I, I will get sensation back, which is cool. It'll just take a while for some of it to come back. Gonna do some close-ups. So you can see like all the yellow bruising, it's like around my nipples and like across this bit, closer to the incision. Obviously it would be, because that's where they cut up. I got loads of spots on my chest. That's from the um, that's from the bandages I had on. And I did have a reaction, as you can see, to the bandages and um, it kind of cut my skin. They didn't give me three incisions, that's, that's from the bandages. You can probably see like the stitches here and like here. They're kind of manky looking. There's my nipple, if you wanted to see that. <laughs> There's the other one. Pretty much what's gonna happen is it's gonna look worse before it looks better. My scabs, not my nipples, no. My nipples are gonna scab up, which is gonna look gross, and then the scab's gonna separate, and the scab's gonna fall off, and then I'll have like healthy tissue underneath the scab. Um, I don't know if that's really started happening yet. It probably, well, it kind of has started happening. But it's gonna scab up, and then fall off, and then the stitches will come out. The incisions look so sick right now. Over time, they probably will stretch a tiny bit, because it's pretty impossible to avoid that. They're gonna get redder for a few months and then I can start using scar treatment and they'll calm down. Hopefully they'll fade as much as I can make them. But obviously, I don't wanna be this skinny forever, so I'm gonna work out when I can. I think six weeks is when you can start working out, but still not too strenuous, so. I'm gonna try and exercise, because I like being shirtless now. I'm pretty mobile right now. Um, obviously, I can feel it stretching when I move, so I'm trying not to move too much. Um, I can do pretty much everything apart from stretch too high. Like, I'm able to stretch high. Like, I can stretch without it hurting, but I can feel it pulling, and I don't want it to pull because I don't want to ruin the results. So I'm kind of just like, taking it easy. So I'm going to redress my nips and my incisions. Um, I use Mepore plasters. Um, yep. Yeah. I have to dress the incisions for six weeks until I have like my six week update appointment with Miles Barry and then I have to dress my nipples until the scabs fall off. I also have to wear this post-op binder for five more weeks. Um, you're supposed to wear it for six weeks in total and it sucks and it hurts. I have the smallest sizes, extra, 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 extra small and it digs into my armpits. But yeah, it keeps on swelling and it just keeps everything safe and I do feel a lot more secure with it so I'm gonna wear it. And I want my results to be as good as they can be because it's a lot of money and it's a waste if I screw them up and I start doing things too early and fuck up my results. So I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that's the end of this top surgery video thing. Um, sorry, it's just been like top surgery, top surgery, top surgery for like ages. It's just I've wanted this for ages. There will be more <laughs> top surgery updates. I'm probably going to do one at like six weeks or something and then maybe a year or I don't know, however many months. And I do have more exciting top surgery related videos coming, so just expect that. But yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Highly recommend Miles Berry, absolute legend. He's perfect, incredible, everything about my chest I love, so it's good, and that's all down to him, so yeah. See you later, losers.